those of you that are intrigued to see what whiskies are like up against one another, today I have the video for you. Fellow malt lovers, welcome back to another versus challenge on McIntyre's malts. My name is Wade. If you are new to the channel, thank you for being here. You are in for a treat. This one is a challenge between two peated expressions in Lecheg's core lineup. The Lecheg 10 year old. And of course, the Lecheg Sinclair series. All right. If you are a returning viewer to the channel, you will have seen that I have reviewed both of these whiskies individually recently. So naturally I had to set up a versus challenge between these two. Lecheg is Tobamori's peated expression. We have non-chill filtered whiskey. We have no artificial coloring on either of these whiskies and they both present at 46.3% ABV. The Lecheg 10 color is a beautiful, nice honey-like bourbon influence you can see here. And the Rioja cask is very much apparent. <laughs> this is this gorgeous, deep, rich red and mahogany tone on the Sinclair series Lecheg. If you are interested in purchasing either of these expressions in the Australian market, you are looking at $95 to $100 for the uh, Lecheg 10, and you are looking at $90 to $95 typically for the uh, Sinclair series. So, not a lot in it in terms of price. The Sinclair series is a non-age statement, but from what I can gather online, it's in the realm of seven to eight years. Okay, let's begin with the nosing on the Lecheg 10 on your right. And it's good. It's, it's peat, smoky, Toffee, vanilla, honey, and you're getting the maltiness too. It's just, I really like the sweet nose on this, right? A lot of peated whiskeys are very much dominated by the smokiness, but the Lecheg 10, great active casks. You're getting so much from the bourbon influence, and I'm impressed by the the sweetness from the bourbon cask that dances very well with the smokiness let's nose the lecheg sinclair series <laughs> very similar but the smoke on this one is subdued because the sweetness takes center stage loads of red berry red wine there's toffee notes here too. Let's get stuck in and try the Lecheg 10 on my palate. Slash. Yeah. It comes on sweet. And then the more I swirl it around my palate, the the smokiness starts to develop it's probably a, a medium finish on this one texture's good it's not super thick but there's plenty there good mouthfeel lecheg sinclair series on your left on the palate cheers mm-hmm <laughs>
it transitions different. This one goes from a light sweetness and then comes in smoky on the mid palate. Uh, gets sweet again at the end, more sweet. Almost like cherry pie, like I've got pie crust, you know, like the crunchiness, almost like even a rhubarb crumble with, with like sprinkled raw sugar on top. There's a sweetness, the tartness. That's what I was looking for before from the wine. It's, it's tart, right? Uh, cranberries, you know, that sort of, you, you know, that what I'm talking about it makes you sort of suck your cheeks a little bit, right? That's, that's what I'm getting on this one. If you like, like I do a combination of, or a contrast with food and drink, right? And, and when I was a chef, that's what we were taught. Express two sides to the flavor profile. This is why I love these whiskeys. You get a perfect balance on both of sweet and smoky, but from two different cask influence. You've got a sweet vanilla toffee on the Lecheg 10 here. And then on this one, you've got the, the red berries, the red wine, the cherry pie. It's cool. I love this stuff. All right. I need to nose them each once again, final sip and finish on the palate. And then we're going to determine the winner of today's versus challenge. All right. Let's check 10 on the nose. I would say this is not heavily peated, right? We're probably in the realm of like 25, 30 PPM on this. If you know the exact specs on this, put it in the comments under the video. A sweet and smoky whiskey without it being sweet sherry. It's, it's, it's lovely. Okay. Let's now try the nose one last time on the Sinclair series Lecheg. I'm even getting tomato paste in this. There's some acidity, right? Sweet. Tart. The smoke is there, but it's more prominent on the palate than the nose. And then, yeah, the acidity like a tomato paste, a good contrast, right? Final sip on the Lecheg 10. Cheers, guys. <laughs> I love the transition. You get that sweet, the caramel, the vanilla, the toffees, and then, then the smoke just comes up and says, I belong here too. And it's, it's nice because it goes somewhere, right? It doesn't just stay sweet and leave you wanting. It's all about the contrast, right? That's, that's what you're getting on this one. Lovely. Final sip and finish on the Sinclair series Lecheg. Cheers, guys. Ah oh, man, this one's tough. This is really tough to to make a call on these because they're they are two different things. They are both equally good in my book. How much we got left? All right, we're gonna do one more sip. I got I got to do the tiebreaker, guys. I have to. Bear with me. It's important, right? <laughs> We've got to get it right. We've got to get it right. If, if we do this wrong, you know, I, I can't have that, the repercussions of this. I can't buy them both. Okay. <laughs> buy them both. That's the, that's the solution. Buy them both. I did. All right. Sinclair series. Let's try.
the Chegg 10. Final sip. Final, final sip. Okay. When you try these side by side, you can absolutely tell they are versions of the same thing. The Sinclair series feels like an addition to what's happening here, which it likely is. This probably started its life as this, right? Now, I'm going to say that I enjoy this as a variation of the Lecheg 10. Any day of the week, I could feel in a different mood about these two. But today, I, I'm, I'm settled on it, guys. I've made my decision. The winner of today's versus challenge is the Lecheg 10. There's something so wonderful about the balance of sweetness from the bourbon. And it's very present and not overpowered by the smoke and the peat. And they work beautifully hand in hand. So today's winner, the Chegg 10. So if you're interested to check out either one of these on their own, go down into the description on the video and I'll put links to these two reviews. While you're there, make sure you click like on the video. And if you haven't yet already subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? You're here, you love this content, you love whiskey, subscribe and get more of it, right? That's what we do. Okay, thank you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next time, here's to you.